hey guys i know i know it's been a year since i uploaded my last dev vlog life has had a lot of changes i in the last 13 months a lot some of the biggest changes currently going on in life are that i left zynga i attended igdc also known as india game developer conference 2023 and had talks with some of the biggest publishers and investors in india i also started working full time on this vr game and lastly i am now verified into the Oculus Start program to launch my Yay! game on App Lab with the support of Meta. So, since the last video, last time I didn't have a name for the game, and after discussing it with my sister, we finally came up with the name Whispers of the Tarnished City, which was very suitable for the game we are currently making. And as per date, due to circumstances, there are a lot of changes and downscoping of the project that we had to do. Honestly speaking, the original idea was highly out of scope for a solo game dev. I understand I made a rookie mistake. Indie game dev, man. Indie game dev. <laughs> Originally, I was making an open world game. where the player could explore a huge post apocalyptic city and get to know the history of the world that i was trying to create and bring to life for igdc aka india game developer conference we had a demo created where we had 1.5 km by 1.5 km city to explore and test out different mechanics later on just after i came back home i got a realization that if i worked on creating an open world environment could i have optimized the environment enough so that i could get it working on mobile devices like quest 2 quest 3 pico and all those devices with the graphics that i wanted short answer no as per date we had completely revamped the game and the main objective now has changed from an open world rpg type game to a linear story telling experience where the player will learn about the world that they are in and how they got stuck into these circumstances within the world our main objective is to get the player to focus on exploration within the small world where i as a developer i'm trying to reward the player as much as possible for exploration so the team after having a lot of discussion concluded that to develop this game forward we will aim to launch a game demo first in the demo we are giving you a small sneak peek into the story and the game mechanics you will directly be starting from the 40% checkpoint of the story you will start the tutorial at the end checkpoint of the mall area and then we'll be going into a lab and will be set out to explore Sadly I can't tell you things after that really sorry but you will have to play the demo to find out what will happen but I'm excited to let you guys play it very very soon Sadly as I'm not a developer developer it takes time or should I say a lot of time to code and stuff into the game Speaking of gameplay let me speed run through showing you some of the gameplay mechanics that I have created so far for the game first pistol yes we have a pistol but it's a bit different having different ammo types uh, according to these ammo types you can do different things within the environment like sparking water on the ground or burning oil spills that might have occurred somehow or breaking the environmental pieces second a rifle yes this rifle is a rifle it can be used in a mid to long range fight but its main objective is to stop or stun the enemy for a few seconds in place so that it can be killed with the help of another weapon i know i know in the gameplay the enemy is not stopping or getting stunned but i do still have to code that into the enemy ai third shotgun yes yes at the very end we do have a shotgun what is it used for you might think Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's used to kill enemies, but also it does a lot of knockback effect on the enemy and if the enemy hits a wall or a flat object behind it, it will get stunned or you might get a one shot kill. Mhm. Mm Other than these three, we do have a 
a few things that are a work in progress such as a magic sword as well as a few magic spells that we are trying to create and a few more weapons as well i still need to work on optimizing the guns that i mentioned before and also combining a lot of them together so that they work together in harmony don't want them to get stuck or it be a hassle to use at the moment i can't find any resources related to creating magic with an unreal engine so at the time i am doing a lot of research and development if you are a vr game developer who might be watching and have good resources related to this please do help me out by putting a few of them in the comment section below or sending me uh, them on the discord server it would be a great great help as for the environment i am in works in creating the environment design of the lab which is the level 1 that we will be showing and as for the team they are in the works of helping me create the level design for the other two levels which we will be adding into the demo depending upon the time we have got left <laughs> other than all this i have been grinding to learn about enemy ai as well so as you see we currently have two different enemy types One is a speedster and the other one is a sorcerer. I did have a long range enemy, shooting enemy, but it still has its bugs. At the end of the day, these enemies will not be present as you see them right now. But using the base structure, we will be recreating all new enemies with slightly different structures. Life update. As major updates of the last part of 2023 I had an opportunity to go to IGDC and showcase the game to a lot of people and some publishers Here are some of the reels that I created and uploaded Here 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 this is another one uh, another one yeah If you are interested do follow our Instagram page FTFS Studio or link in the video description to see frequent updates on the game as i pitched the original demo to publishers during IGDC and after they had a lot of questions for me i let you know the two most important questions that were reoccurring the second biggest question that came up was will this be able to run on mobile devices mobile devices specifically like quest 2 quest pro pico 4 and all at that time quest 3 didn't launch with a new processor so yeah hmm the biggest question was how would i monetize the game even further besides just selling the game as a one time purchase so that the publisher and i could earn even more money just not from the sales but from extra monetizable content the monetizable content which they were referring to at the time were something like battle pass or payable content like dlcs skins advertisements and all those kinds of stuff within the game at the end of the day we didn't really get a publisher during igdc and later on when i was in talks with some of the publishers as well i didn't want to add any kind of specific monetization strategy at the end of the day for specifically for this game for an indie game dev and for indie games specifically it's crucial to think carefully about how you'll make money before diving into a complex monetization method or methods it's very important to ensure your game is engaging enough for the players we should focus on creating a great game experience first and then consider adding ways for players to support the developer financially rushing into a monetization strategy without a solid fan base can be risky and it's a big risk for me and yes of course there are a lot of outliers within the industry and the game space but everybody can't be them right after all this is my first commercial release to everybody to play and you can play the whole game while supporting me and the team as well what we are aiming for at the moment is a 25 to 30 minute demo for a new player but what we have created till now 
if we complete everything including the level design environment design and the game mechanics in time might range from 45 minutes to two hours depending upon the player's experience level within virtual reality currently i am trying to get the steam page up but the demo will be launched on steam meta oculus app lab and itch.io for you all to play and download from the demo is completely free uh, if you enjoy the demo or the content that i am trying to push out or would like to support me and the team to complete the game faster consider joining our patreon for exclusive perks and rewards patreon.com slash ftfs studio Last but not least, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for your support, whether you're a long time viewer or newcomer to the community. Your enthusiasm and encouragement means the world to me and yeah, thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things related to our game. Until next time, keep dreaming, keep creating. See you in the next video. Love you all.